Hi everyone! Look what came in the mail today! I'm so excited. This is gonna be super fun. I'm an editor for a living, so I do a lot of typing. Um, and my previous keyboard is just, it's just a little like Daiso kind of really cheap, really silly little keyboard. It's cute, but it's not great. The keys are very hard to push down. They're not easy to push. They have a little bit of volume to them, but they're not very high. Don't have much travel. Not a good click at all. This is a brand new mechanical keyboard and it lights up and I'm so excited. And on top of all of that, I also bought even more rainbowy see-through keycaps to switch out on it. I don't know if I'll even do that right away because it's supposed to be really beautiful just on its own, but I am excited to try this as well. So it'll be really cool. And then I got a little kit to actually do it because I've never done that to a keyboard before, but we'll give it a try. So here's the actual keyboard. It's beautiful. It's got a lovely aluminum finish all over it. It's got its beautiful keys. I haven't plugged it in yet, so it's not lit up or doing anything, but the keys make a beautiful click. These are blue um, style mechanical keys, which is what I wanted. I wanted something with a solid click to it, but I didn't want to spend like, you know, three or $400 on a keyboard. So this one was quite reasonably priced for everything that you get, including the full, uh, function buttons, the full number pad, just it comes with the full set of keys, which is great because I use the full set every day. So I'm really hyped about that because again, my previous keyboard over here, it came with a number pad, which is great, but all of the end and home keys are all just in here and you have to keep switching back and forth between numlock, which is very frustrating when you hit the wrong one. You're like, oh my God, why? Again, every time. So this one's gonna be great because I can just hit exactly what I want the first time I want it. And it's gonna be really nice. So I'm gonna plug it in and then we'll get to show off the colors. I'm so excited. Okay, so here it is plugged in. I'm gonna show you be in better lighting um, on the desk in a second, but e even the default rainbow is gorgeous. It fluctuates through, it's so pretty. And here are the new keycaps. So they are actually colored, they're pink and blue. This was termed reverse Miami and they're so pretty. We've got the little blue color, the little pink color, and they're all pudding style, which means the bottom of them is actually translucent. So they're gonna show the rainbow through too. Oh, I'm so excited. This is gonna be so pretty. Okay, I'm going to, I just downloaded the manual, so I'm going to rearrange the camera and show you the keyboard going through the different color cycles. Um, I'll give you a look. Okay, now I wanted to point out that I'm also really pleased with this packaging because these came in a nice resealable bag. So I'll be able to put the old keycaps in here, keep them all nice, put them back in the box and just store them away nice and cleanly. So that's a really nice feature to have. Okay, so I turned the lights off. Here's the default setting. It's gorgeous. Now I pulled up the manual. This thing has so many different settings. It has a chart so you can make sure you get to test them all out. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. So. First of all, change color, function, arrow. Ooh, so that's still just a kind of a gradient wash. You can switch it through all the different colors. Oh, and they're back to rainbow. All right, what's next? Change lighting effect direction, function, other way. Oh, and it reverses, easy peasy. Change color frequency, function, minus and function equals. All right, I gotta find everything again. Is that gonna work? Oh yeah, look, you can tell the difference, wow. And function equals. Much faster. Oh, very fun. That slows it right down. Very cool. Okay, let's give a look what's next. Lighting effects. Function insert. Done. So I think this one's just solid color. Oh, 
Okay, so this one's really a slow gradient for the whole keyboard. It's very fun. All right, we've got... Okay, so this one's called breathing, just kind of on and off. This one should be steady. Might also be on breathing, I'm not sure. Steady, there we go. Now it's just gonna stay like this. Very exciting. Okay, function home. Now this one should be radiation, so. Oh, and it's multicolored. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, that is very fun. Okay. Now, can I change the color setting on that? I wonder. Change color, function sideways. Oh, look, and now it radiates in different colors. Oh, that is fun. And we're back to multicolor again. Oh, so much fun. Okay, next, let's try function home again. Oh, and now it's just kind of got, it's, this one's called delay. So it's just kind of a, a slow fade. And I bet I can change the colors again. I can, look at that. Gorgeous. Switch this through. Does it have a rainbow setting? I think I missed it, I went too fast. Okay, gorgeous, anyway. Next up, let's try function home again. This one is going to be diffusion line. Oh, okay, so it's a horizontal effect. That one is cool. And I'm sure the color changes. Yeah, oh, we had a, that one, sorry, I'm trying to get color change here, but I'm just changing the speed. These are all so customizable. This is crazy. There we go, rainbow in. Oh, it's fun. It looks like sprinkles or confetti or something. Oh my goodness. Okay. So that was diffusion line. Next up, function page up. This is called flying rock. Page up. Oh my God, I have a real page up button. That is so nice. Oh, it just like ripples and like reverberates. Oh, that's fun. Okay, let's try eight hurricane. Or sorry, not, yeah, this is the eighth setting, but function page up again. Hurricane. Oh, cool, it kind of swirls into the middle and then diffuses out. Oh, that one's neat. Does this one affect? No, it just goes on its own. All right, up next, digital rain. Function page up. Oh, and it's just kind of random. <laughs> this keyboard is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay, next up, function delete. This one is called across. So I think this one's just kind of our typical one that we started with kind of shifting gradually. Let's try function delete again. This one is called marching. This one just looks kind of like another slow gradient here. Oh, this one's pretty. This one's called whirlpool. Oh, does this one change colors? It does, you can get that same kind of fade in out effect with all the different colors. Oh, very nice. And then we're back to the rainbow. All right, what's next? Function end. Oh, this one's called Christmas tree. Oh, that's cute. That's really pretty. All right, next up, color dream. Oh, kind of fades in and out. And all the little buttons are kind of changing their color slowly. Cute. All right, Rolling Rainbow is next. Okay, so this one's just kind of like horizontal stripes. Does it change or anything? No, I think that one's just, it doesn't change color either. It's just set on the rainbow. That's gorgeous, like a classic rainbow, red to purple. Oh, and it does change. Look, it fades through, fades through the line. So it's kind of moving very slowly. I bet I could change the speed on this one. Let's see if we can or not. Change color, change frequency, minus or equals. Yeah. 
Yeah, there now it's going even faster so you can see it more quickly. Oh, very cool. Okay, next up, function page down. This one is called Fairy Plus. Okay, it just kind of bounces back and forth, it looks like. Does it change color as it goes, or do I have to change it for it? There we go. Okay, yeah, it's just set on a solid color. Kind of put it on rainbow, probably, and we're back to multicolored rainbow. Oh, very fun. Okay, let's try function page down again. This one is called Steady Plus, so probably just a steady color. Let's see if it changes, yeah. Okay, yeah, so just kind of fades and holds, that's beautiful. All right, next up, expand and shrink. Ooh, that's pretty, a little ripple effect right into the center. Or just, does this one change if I mess with the colors? No, so this one's just kind of set on the rainbow. So that makes sense, because it's all, all lit up at all times. Oh, you can change direction on this one. So let's, what is the button to change direction? Change lighting effect direction is function left. Okay, and there we go. So you can make it go in or make it go out, whichever way you want the ripples to go. And then this chart actually, their descriptive user manual chart is actually pretty good. I can actually figure out what it's, how to do everything. Function tilde. Oh, what? Oh, okay. So this one is going to be like set up your specific uh, keys that you want if you want your gaming keys, etc. Da, da, da. Okay, and you can start and save your own programming on here. It says I don't need that, so I'm not going to worry about doing that, but that's amazing. You can actually specifically change it. Let's see if I can do it just for fun. Function again now it should be set to program so it says flashing indicates selected color oh can I? I can change the color so the color of this button is the color of the keys that i'm designating so let's put something in here let's just go high oh another lit up Oh, very cool. And if I click it again, does it go away? How do I get rid of it, I wonder? Oh, I have to restore it just to get rid of it. Function. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just making them all pink now, might as well. Like pink better than red for me. <laughs> um, I'm not sure how to get rid of them, in fact. Maybe I'm gonna have to reset it and then start from scratch and rebuild them up again. Who knows? All right. Okay, so that's all of the different options. Oh my goodness, which one do I want to go with? Let's put it into, let's put it into good old gradient. And then it can just gradually switch. No, I need something with more colors than that. Where was one of the ones that had a full rainbow? Let's try Whirlpool maybe, function delete. Nope, that one's not what I wanted. Oh wait, this one did go to rainbow. There we go. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, so sorry, I forgot you have to hit it multiple times. So this one's just across. Let's hit it again. And that's marching. And, oh no, I'm doing the wrong one. I'll figure it out eventually. Okay, so I have to hit the exact same thing again. So delete, now we're on marching. And now we're on whirlpool. And now if I can switch it to rainbow, it should do a beautiful, Beautiful rainbow swirl going on there. All right, well, I'm super pleased with this keyboard. If you wanna know anything about the practical effects, it is good to type on. It does have a nice, I'm sure you heard this whole time, very click. With the aluminum base, it is very ringy. So it's not like overly loud, but if you can hear that, it makes a very strong ring sound when it echoes, I think, through the aluminum. I'm kind of assuming that's what that is. I did buy some kind of, uh, I guess, little insulating rings to add when I switch the keys over. So that will hopefully make a difference and 
you know, tone it down so it's not quite so ringy. But um, yeah, I don't work in an office, so the only person I have to annoy is my boyfriend. So hopefully he won't, uh, hopefully he won't be too frustrated by the noise. So, so far I'm very pleased with this. It looks like it's well made, it's solid, it's heavy, um, but it's a great desktop keyboard. It has all the keys you're looking for. It types nicely. It seems solid. Everything seems well built and you can't beat these color features for the price. This is stunning. At any rate, I'm very pleased with it. Okay, so these are the keycaps that are already on the keyboard. It's um, these beautiful kind of double shot putting PBT keycaps with the lovely color Reverse Miami. Um, and it took like over a month for these stupid clear ones to arrive in the mail because I currently have a bunch of little black rings on and you can actually, you probably can't see it right now because the keyboard's not lit up because it's not connected, but you can actually see the, um, a shadow from the black ring under the little bit of see-through lettering bit. So I'm gonna take all of them off, switch them all up for uh, clear rings. And these ones are actually nicer too because they're much thicker than these little black ones. So, um, so hopefully they'll be better for sound. I actually bought um, a lot of these guys um, so that I could double them up because I've been doubling up these black ones but I might not need to with the pink one or with the, with the clear one. So we'll, uh, we'll experiment and see what we're doing. But for now, let's, uh, let's take all these guys off and try to store them nicely right above so that we can find them all again. Okay, so a quick time skip showing how I replaced the keys and switched the keycaps. This case was actually just me switching the rubber rings for the black one to clear ones. Um, yeah, it uh, skipped uh, through about 20 times speed. since I've had this keyboard for a month or two now, um, I'm fully confident in the keyboard. I love it. It's amazing. Um, it works really great. All in all, I've had this keyboard for a couple months now and I can definitely recommend it. I've been fully enjoying it. My wrists and my fingers are feeling much better and it's been very durable, very uh, well working, no issues. All the lights are great. And overall, uh, yeah, wholeheartedly recommend. It looks beautiful. Okay, I think that's about it. I think we're done. Okay, well, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed watching this interesting kind of how-to, kind of, I don't know, kind of just chilling with music. Um, I'm pleased it's all done, so. It was pretty good. I think the keyboard turned out great. Oh, let's plug it in and show what, what it actually looks like. Ha ha, the doy. That would be a cool thing. It's such a nice keyboard. Okay, so light up. Oh, and then I guess I'll turn all the lights off to so you can actually see, see it a bit better. Um, there we go. Oh wait, can I leave? Oh, and of course my mini light's gone. Can I leave this one on just a little bit? Like just a little bit? Like way dim? That's better, you can see what, you can get the idea. 
and it's so beautiful and it does really cool things like this and like this so i highly recommend this keyboard i highly recommend these keycaps i would recommend all of it because it does really neato little things like this one is really cool it's really fun this one's too much for me when i'm working it's too um it distracts my attention but yeah same with all the motiony ones like that i can't use them because they distract me but i love them anyway where's that one's good so i hope uh i hope that was of interest to someone um i post a i think i have i have a link to this keyboard in my um affiliate links on youtube so if you're interested in picking up one of these and i think the keycaps too i don't know about the rings <laughs> but um the the important stuff is i just got the rings off amazon like it's not not hard to find um the important stuff like the keyboard and the keycaps are linked so check out the youtube description where i have a link to the uh suggestions um along with a bunch of other stuff that i recommend and please make sure you like and subscribe if you want to see more content i do put out a video every week and you can see all the reviews uh over at my website and check out instagram and twitch as well thanks now bye